We are glad that talented Karina Pogosian will be performing at our church. With these opening words, the pastor of Armenian Evangelical Church in Manhattan, Reverend Hai Karlopian, welcomed the audience who came to listen to Karina Pogosian's recently held masterful performance in benefit of Tchaikovsky Musical School renovation in Yerevan. The concert opened with remarks by Armenian ambassador to UN Zohrab Menatsakanian, who spoke highly of Karina Pogosian's talent as a pianist. He also expressed his appreciation to Karina Pogosian for the benefit performance to help Armenia fund USA's Tchaikovsky School renovation in Yerevan, Armenia. I was so happy that Karina has com committed herself to this. You will be hearing this, and I want you to picture that Karina, there are many, many Karinas that will be coming out from that school. With your help, you will be seeing them, their talent prospering, you know, uh, uh, flourishing. Prior to the concert, a documentary film was screened about renovation works of Tchaikovsky School, which started earlier this year. Music talent abounds in Armenia, where the arts are revered and important to daily life, especially classical music. The country has home to just one government-funded classical music school, Tchaikovsky Secondary Music School. This institution, which is Armenia's mecca for young musicians and their musical education, is in desperate need of funding. Renovation is vital to meet the state-of-the-art demands required to train a new generation of musically gifted Armenian youth. For classical music to survive in Armenia, it is essential for this institution to be on par with other world-class music schools in Europe and United States. The concert was a tribute to Beethoven's birthday celebration and began with solo performance by Karine Pogosian playing Beethoven's variations on original theme in C minor. This concert was made possible by permanent mission of Armenia to the United Nations, the Armenia Fund USA Eastern Region Affiliate, and Armenian Evangelical Church of New York. The Armenian-American pianist Karina Pogosian has been praised for her ability to get to the heart of the work she performs. She made her orchestral debut at 14 playing Beethoven's Piano Concerto No. 1, and her solo Carnegie Hall debut at 23. And since then, she has gone to win numerous awards as well as performing in some of the world's most prestigious concert halls. Karina Pogosian's musical studies began in her native Yerevan in Armenia. At the School of Arts, continued to Romanos Melikian College and Komita State Conservatory. After moving to the United States in 1998, she received her BM from California State University and her MM and DMA degrees in Manhattan School of Music in record-breaking time, two years, with a thesis on Aram Kachaturian's work for piano. She is currently based in New York, where she teaches in Manhattan School of Music. During the second part of the concert, Karina Pogosian performed Beethoven's Piano Concerto No. 5 in E-flat major with Anahit chamber players, an ensemble comprised of current and former Manhattan School of Music students and conducted by Kael Rittenau, who was Karina Pogosian's student. The chamber ensemble is named Anahit in memory of pianist's grandmother, who has had a major influence on Karina's musical education and life. The conductor of chamber orchestra Kael Rittenau has worked with some of New York's most up-and-coming music ensembles. Anahi Chamber Players is a brand new uh, symphonic orchestra that I started myself. Uh, it's made of all of my colleagues, uh, young students from Manhattan School of Music, and just New York City music professionals. And uh, the name is actually a very meaningful one to me. Uh, my grandmother, Anahi Chirinyan, uh, passed away two years ago. and. Uh, I really wanted to do something to uh, make her name last 
Uh, so I dedicated this to her in, in, in her memory. Um, and I'm, I'm thrilled that we were able to make a connection to, again, to this very, very special project because uh, my grandmother really believed in education, she really believed in the arts. Uh, she raised my mother to be a, a music lover and a supporter. And uh, I would not be a musician if it weren't for that. So I find it very, very fitting uh, that this specific orchestra, Anai Chamber Players, was uh, a part of this evening. It was great to finally perform with her on the stage. Um, and she did a fantastic job. She brought such passion to Beethoven's music and organizing the orchestra, me and her teamed up with that, getting everybody together, and uh, her energy really just uh, took us through this entire experience. And the orchestra was fantastic. We're all from the Manhattan School of Music, a lot of Carine students, and uh, it was a fantastic performance. Um, the piece is wonderful, and uh, it was just great, like, again, to say, uh, great to perform with Carine, and uh, her talent is um, really powerful, and, and uh, she represents Armenia really well. Karina Pogosian recently returned from a tour to Vienna, Austria and Yerevan, Armenia, where she performed to rave reviews the music of Aram Khachaturians featured on her CD, Khachaturian Original Piano Works and Ballet Transcriptions. As in talented pianist Karina's past concerts, this performance as well was very warmly received by the audience. Marina Pavosian's support to this vital cause to rebuild the Tchaikovsky Secondary Music School in Yerevan should serve as an important example to all Armenian-American artists. Because this school, where so many young Armenian musicians begin to learn their art, is responsible for classical music not only to survive in Armenia, but for it to thrive as well. Oh, music is a very important part of what it means to be a human being. It's a cultural expression. It's something that we want to support and help uh, and produce, keep producing talented musicians out of Yerevan. So any way we could help our homeland, we are on board for. Anything that we could just help the future, we are on board for as a church. So it's just an honor to welcome such talent with Karin Pogosian and the Anahi chamber players. And it was just a wonderful evening and I'm glad just we could be a part of it, to be honest. Our Tchaikovsky uh, Music School uh, was chosen by Armenia Fund USA for a project for several reasons. Since uh, 1939, the school was established um, and it had uh, cultivated many, many famous uh, musicians that uh, the borders are past Armenia. They're internationally well known. So the school was in a overall terrible, terrible condition and it needed the whole renovation and uh, we are proud to be part of that and orchestrating the full reconstruction that is going on. Uh, and again, we know how important uh, music is to all of us, 
So without our Armenian young talents who uh, do go to the school where they have a full curriculum and specialized in music, we will be able to uh, provide them a better atmosphere, better environment in order to have a better education. I felt incredibly passionate about supporting this project that Armenia Fund has started. Uh, I myself, uh, I spent my whole life in music schools. I was a student and now I'm doing a lot of teaching and so it's a great passion of mine to make sure that students at this legendary school in Yerevan, Tchaikovsky Music School, have the absolute very best to be able to pursue their passion, their love of music. Um, it is absolutely uh, the least I can do. It, I feel it is my duty as, a, as an artist, as a musician. So I'm honored that we made this evening possible.